Hey, George. What's up, boy? What's up, dude? George is here. All right. Let me just do a quick video of the alleys. But before we do that, we have the planter boxes right about here. And the planter boxes, you see if I move this around, see seven feet, zero inches. Georgie, Georgie, attitude. He's got a little attitude. He's ready to go to bed. All right, so uh, we sleep together. Georgie and I sleep together like a dog. He sleeps, to, he sleeps on the foot of the bed. He actually sleeps between my legs if I roll over. Either way, he gets between the legs. So, uh, hey, George. Hey, Georgie. Let's see if he'll jump up here. George, come here. Very smart. Come on, up, George. <laughs> All right, let me give you uh, this tonight before I hit the rack. I'm going to give you the uh, alleys. So this is your entranceway right here, right? This is your driveway. So materials can sell, can consolidate down there during the collapse. And this would be the other alley, the front of the building where cars can, they come in a park. Well, that's open area, so materials can consolidate there. Let's tie that in with L and M. This is L, that's M, that's the, that's the ramp. Here's our area here. To the left of that is the flower box that stand, the stage, the stage. Around here, 1996, they put in the, the square pot that you see on the angle. Over here, of course, no BMAs, but they have the flower pots there and the light is here. Now, a couple of you think the light came was over here and was down like that. The light is here next to the pot and it's down like that with a sausage link on top of it. So, tying in at L and M is L and M. That will allow materials to stack in there, 13 feet of materials roughly high. And you see how, if you saw the video, I showed you 9, 10, 11, 12 floors, how easy they compact it. Well, you can imagine the compaction would be pretty easy to get down in this entire area here, not this ramp area, if you will, down to here. Let me look at something here. Yeah. So there's the parking spot. Um, this is the garage. Yeah, 17. Double, double column, double column. All right. So... Um, Hmm, just looking at something here. So then now we have um, in front of the, this is the, uh, so 16, right? This is the front of the building here. And the flower pots would be right about here above parking 78. And over here, so above 78 is parking all here. This is where we get that cracked deck and then going up this way. Swimming up with the top, with the uh, other side of the materials crack over on this side. The other side of the uh, planter boxes on this side. So somewhere about right about here, planter boxes. And then we have. Um, uh, let me look at the above me. All right. So above this, we have the planter boxes. Right about here on top of these beams. And these beams here. Planter boxes maybe out to here to uh, the beams. There's that four foot step out. And right about here is that one last planter box we see kind of turning, swimming down, going under. But it's coming down in a plane like that, not, not going back. Doesn't present as going back, but like diving under. But this is the, the uh, that area I just mentioned. The, uh, the other alley would be in front, the front of the building. So this would be your front of your building here, your alley. And that's your ramp again. See the uh, two ways? So this would be able to fill up with materials. And show it this way, the butterfly area. And then we turn, and we have our secondary butterfly where the cars um, would come down here to where the pool is. So that acts as a butterfly area for the collapsed deck to go down further. Then they land on cars here, but no cars here and that's part of the alley that I described the materials consolidate down here uh, but more importantly I know the cars are holding the deck up to some degree right the compression on the cars holding the deck in the air to some degree 
but more importantly, even if they are, it still shows the materials didn't make it out right up to seven feet, right up to the edge of that pot that uh, I call, I shouldn't say a pot because they're actually the pots, the 1996 installed pots by a landscape company. I don't know if he's approved by the city, the municipality, found those paperwork. But up here is the the seven foot, um, it's the planter boxes, right? And they appear to represent over top of the BMAs. And that planter box is here, and again, the light is here. Turn that direction. So you can scale high that light and get over to that, that planter box that's over here. The planter box appears to present punched through on top of one of the, uh, on top of the columns. And then it looks like a planter box might be there on top of a column, a column head. And then planter box, then planter box, and planter box. And they put, they put some back here on the back wall, but that's not the best place for them, were they? But it appeared to be planter boxes on top of column heads. So um, it's in the strongest of the area. The strongest area it can be in is right there in, the, in, that, in that zone on top of the heads, transferring the loads. Also, where water could do the most damage to as you water every day. But that's, that's not where it started, and that's not, that's not where I'm going down that road um, at this point. I'm just sharing with you the why you can get so much material and then stop. It filled up a 13, uh, 8 foot maybe basement, 13 feet 4 is the elevation. But it was able to fill up what's below here, fall on these cars, but also fill up this area here. And then it came like over to this this one there. So we'll, we'll map it out differently with string. But we're basically seeing this and then back up. So even though there's more alley here, okay, this is for Carolina, baby. There was word about this location. I said to do a video. There is no car right here. So if you want to start looking at that deck, you'd look out here and go, okay, if there's no cars here, this punk shears the furthest down, and this does. And let's go, let's transpose that down here to parking spaces. And we see a pier and pier, but cars to each side. But so we would get our deepest or our, our greatest ability to have deflection right here because there's no cars. And that would be the same thing here. Building collapses, it falls down this hole because it's a bigger hole and falls this way. That's where we're getting our consolidated materials. I'm going to talk to you about the model and in the model we're going to talk about the, uh, the this slab here that falls down out to here that possibly fell. I, this is the secondary version of it that it split down the middle fell off this side, boom and then this one consolidated over top of it like a, like a deck of cards. So that we left and right. Do I get left and right and get that staggering? That's a tough one. Maybe I can get, you know, coming off that way. But I'm still working on that one for you guys to get you the other version of that, a different version. I always try to think of my first version as a bias and then trying to find another way to get the materials at the same location. And if I can't find another way that's plausible, then I, then, I, then I assume the first one is the best plausible way until other data presents. Or my brain presents it to me, as I say. You know, I put, it to work, put my brain to work on it and say, work on it. And it starts running all the numbers and calculations trying to figure out, okay, where's the equilibrium problem? Where is the equilibrium problem? Where did we lose equilibrium? Well, when this deck went down here, this probably had a control joint right here. It pulled it apart. didn't take much to pull it apart for it to fall. If it pulls apart here, how do I get it to go to the right? And I'm having problems with that to, to make that happen that way. So that's a bias and a working out. We see it pull apart when it butterflies down here at this construction joint. It doesn't take much to pull apart and then it drops down. It doesn't pull apart and come way away, just a few inches and then drops. It only took a little bit of a tug, a few inch break, and then drop. Well, if it can do it out here, clearly it can do it in here, can't it? We got to start over here, and yet we got a construction joint over here pulling apart. 
So clearly, if it can do that, that drape there can happen here. Clearly, I can get a tug here from a drape, just a little bit of a tug, and get this to fall down and drop. Um, and then do the flip over thing. It falls over. Maybe it has hang time. Maybe it has no hang time. Maybe it just falls down, and the next one drops down. I think it's, I think it's an overlapping deck. And the next half part of it flips over, and it looks like that. It presents like that. And the image looks like two decks, one on top of each other. Remember, this is 13 um, four and we got 20 foot distance here so we're, we can get that f breaking and then this part here breaking off flipping over on top of the, what we see down below that buys us maybe a couple of minutes from that point maybe seven minutes before this can't take the load the, between these guys these two between this this now becomes that that open header I showed you in a parking garage video the one in Texas that uh, the Carolina Babies getting credit for, for for tying it together as I put the data out there. And maybe it did that, and we get our buckling and failure thereupon here or here, or maybe just a fracture here and dropping down, fracture in the uh, ledger itself, in the, uh, in the slab drop itself. So there we have it. Um, what do I have here? Right. So it would be down here would be the pulling, the tugging action. And it's open here. I only need the tug from that butterfly. So the butterfly would be, hey Georgie. So the butterfly, as you can see the puncturing is here, these pins. But the pins are staggered all over the place. So this butterfly is going to have a uh, a, a very irregular tugging pattern as it punctures around each one of these to try to find equilibrium to stop. It ultimately stops, but not before giving it a tug and pulling it away from, from right there. This is the uh, 16 by 16, so pulling away from here. And remember, it went the other direction and stopped. Uh-oh, pin, pin drop. Uh, it went this direction and stopped. It didn't keep going because it was separated from the construction joint. And that's what I theorize is possibly up here as a construction joint. It looks like a good place to put one. It's got a nice span to it. And nevertheless, we get a break. And it, you know, you, we don't see wire reinforcement hanging from the ceiling like you see down here in a parking garage. You see wire hanging from it. From the garage video from the lady photo filming from there, we see no reinforcement hanging or tied into the face of that structure. So it seems like another cold joint that's pulled apart. And set release falls down, breaks, the other part of it flips over onto it. Maybe it's no hang time, it just flips over onto it. And then this hang time now would be like the parking garage, just so you know. The parking garage, again, I'll link the video for the parking garage. So I need you to watch it because it's about seven minutes go by before it fails. So those stresses were there. And it's about seven minutes before this fails. So it's like a, a great, I want to say, parody of this collapse. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing data find to, to, to prove the proof of concept, if you will. All right, end of video. Thanks for watching and thanks for commenting. You guys are pretty, uh, I like how you guys are enjoying the way I present because that's the way I'm presenting. So it's my personality you're enjoying, the way I do the breadcrumbs or the way I want you to learn it. I want you to try to figure it out. I want you to see the next step or at least see a little bit of the next step. I don't want to trouble you with um, what's so far ahead we were, when we're going to start talking way over here on the top floor that I'm going to discuss something about that failure on the second or top floor. We're not even there yet. We're still working on this when I'll bring you over to this and describe, help you see how the top floor um, failed laterally. I'll give you a hint. Failed laterally in the back face there, the north face. Laterally and not just pulling and not just coming away like that. That it took a moment that went straight down. And I'll prove that with, uh, I'll prove that in materials for you. It'd be very evident, very evident. 
and you're like, oh, yeah, that's the only way you could get a bend like that. You'll see it. Okay. Um, it's going to be very interesting. All right. Take care.